preschool friends. Hope you're all doing well. Staying healthy and staying busy and not too bored at home. Today we want to have some music time. So um, I hope that you will join me and participate with me and sing and do anything that I'm doing with my hands or any type of motion. Um, so the, the first thing we're going to do is explore our voices and go high and low. So we're going to do Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle, if you remember this from a long time ago we did this. Um, so when we go up the hill, we make our voices go up. When we go down the hill, we make our voices go down low and deep. Let's try it. Here we go. This is the story of Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. Mr. Wiggle lived in this house. Mr. Waggle lived in this house. One day, Mr. Wiggle decided to go visit Mr. Waggle, so he opened the gate. He came outside. He closed the gate. And he went up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Until he got to Mr. Waggle's house. He knocked on the gate. Knock, knock, knock. Mr. Waggle. Knock, knock, knock. No, Mr. Waggle. So he went up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, until he got to his house. He opened the gate. He went inside. Boop. He closed the gate. And he went to sleep. The next day, Mr. Waggle decided to go visit Mr. Wiggle. So he opened the gate. He went outside. Boop. He closed the gate. And he went up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Until he got to Mr. Wiggle's house. He knocked on the gate. Knock, knock, knock. Mr. Wiggle. Knock, knock, knock. No, Mr. Wiggle. So he went up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, until he got to his house. He opened the gate. He went inside. He closed the gate. And he went to sleep. Well, the next day, Mr. Wiggle decided to go visit Mr. Waggle, and Mr. Waggle decided to go visit Mr. Wiggle. So they opened their gates. They came outside. Boop. They closed their gates. And they went up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Until all of a sudden they saw each other. And they said, Hello, Mr. Wiggle. Hello, Mr. Waggle. And they talked and they talked and they talked until it was time to say goodbye. 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 And they went up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill until they got to their houses. They opened their gates. They went inside. Boop. They closed their gates. And they went to sleep. The end. Good job. How did you do? Did you use a high voice and a low voice? I hope you did. Okay. Let's put one finger on each of our knees. And we'll sing Johnny Had One Friend. Can you sing it with me? See if you remember this. We did this way, way, way back in the fall. Ready, sing. Johnny had one friend, one friend, one friend. Johnny had one friend, Johnny had two. Johnny had two friends, two friends, two friends. Johnny had two friends, Johnny had three. Johnny had three friends, three friends, three friends. Johnny had three friends, Johnny had four. Johnny had four friends, four friends, four friends. Johnny had four friends, Johnny had five. Johnny had five friends, five friends, five friends. Johnny had five friends, Johnny had none. Good job. Um, I wonder if we could count backwards from five. Let's start with five and take one away every time until we get down to one. Okay, here we go. 
Ready, sing. Johnny had five friends, five friends, five friends. Johnny had five friends, Johnny had four. Johnny had five, four friends, four friends, four friends. Johnny had four friends, Johnny had three. Johnny had three friends, three friends, three friends. Johnny had three friends, Johnny had two. Johnny had two friends, two friends, two friends. Johnny had two friends, Johnny had one. Johnny had one friend, one friend, one friend. Johnny had one friend, Johnny had none. Good job. Did you get your numbers right? I almost didn't get my numbers right in that one spot. I hope you counted better than I did. All right, good job. All right, I would like you to now to stand up. I'm gonna stay sitting down, but you're gonna stand up. And I want you to dance. Um, we're gonna do a freeze dance, okay? So that means I'm gonna play some music and I want you to dance around the room, feeling where that steady beat is. And, um, but then I'm gonna stop the music and you're gonna freeze and I'm gonna show you a picture into the shape I want you to freeze in. So let's see if you can do that, okay? So get ready to stand up and dance. When I start the music, you can start moving, but when I stop it, I want you to freeze in the shape of whatever I show you on the card, okay? Here we go. Dance, 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 dance. Well, keep dancing, I didn't get it. Freeze in this shape. Can you do it? Do what the card says. All right, good job. Here we go again. Freeze in this shape this time. Good job. Here we go. Can you do that? Kneel on the floor. Spread your hands out in front of you. Good job. How about this one? Stand up nice and tall. Stretch those arms up high. Good job. Now let's dance again. This one. Bend over. Good. Here we go. How about this one? This one's tricky. Balance on one foot. Put your leg up and touch your knee with your hand. Can you do it without jumping around? All right, here we go. How about this one? Spread your arms out, spread your legs apart, open your mouth, but don't make a sound. Don't yell or shout, just open your mouth silently. Good. This one. Put your hand on your head, stretch your other arm out. Here we go. How about this one? Sit crisscross applesauce with your hands on your head. Good job, here we go. Let's do this one again. Very 
good. You would freeze in your own shape, whatever you want to do. <laughs> good job. Hope you enjoy that. Get some of your wiggles out today. Well done, everybody. Okay, I would like to sing you a story called Mama Buy Me a China Doll. I've done this before in class. I hope you'll remember it. I'm going to scoot up a little bit so maybe you can see the pictures a little bit better. All right. You can just listen, but maybe you'll remember what happened in the story. Remember there's a peddler that comes and around to different houses and towns to sell things. And the little girl goes out to the peddler's wagon to see what he has. And she's so excited, she runs back to her house to ask her mom if she can have something. Let's see. It goes like this. Mama, buy me a china doll. Mama, buy me a china doll. Mama, buy me a china doll. Do, mommy, do. But where do we get the money from, she asks. We could sell daddy's feather bed. We could sell daddy's feather bed. We could sell daddy's feather bed. Do, mommy, do. But what would Daddy sleep on? He could sleep in the horsey's bed. He could sleep in the horsey's bed. He could sleep in the horsey's bed. Do, Mommy, do. And where would the horsey sleep? He could sleep in Sister's bed. He could sleep in Sister's bed. He could sleep in sister's bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would sister sleep? She could sleep in the baby's bed. She could sleep in the baby's bed. She could sleep in the baby's bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would baby sleep? She could sleep in the kitten's bed. She could sleep in the kitten's bed. She could sleep in the kitten's bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would the kittens go? They could go to the chicken coop. They could go to the chicken coop. They could go to the chicken coop. Do, mommy, do. And where would the chickens roost? They could roost on Grandma's rocking chair. They could roost on Grandma's rocking chair. They could roost on Grandma's rocking chair. Do, Mommy, do. And where would Grandma sit? She could sit in the piggy pen. She could sit in the piggy pen. She could sit in the piggy pen. Do, Mommy, do. And where would the piggies sleep? They could sleep in my own bed. They could sleep in my own bed. They could sleep in my own bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would you sleep? I could sleep on mama's lap. I could sleep on mama's lap. I could sleep on mama's lap. Do, Mommy, do. Well, do you think she got the China doll? Looks like the China doll's back on the wagon, pulling away from their house. I don't think she got it. She wanted it so badly, she was willing to give up lots of things for herself and her family. Bye-bye. Have a good day.